Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on CHA's YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Distance, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center while combating radio frequencies for healthier living. And this video shout out goes to Chris Miller because let me tell you something. Uh, yeah, not just for, you know, a thank you for your continued support, but for the inspiration uh, uh, behind this message here because God, yeah, God took both of us to Galatians 2 verse 20 with a video quirk on the Patreon channel, which we fixed, by the way. But when he emailed me that, it kept freezing. Well, it's a public one, so for those who don't know, the Patreon channel has a free side. If you would like to start out as a free member to test the waters, because I do put out short clips. Well, there's a lot, about a 15, 16 minute one that's public. Just kind of giving y'all a feel for the type of content that's on that channel. But the Patreon link is in the description below. Because it was the video where I talk about spam emails with narcissism in action. It's about six, it's six minutes long. But it kept freezing on him at two minutes and 20 seconds. And since we don't, yeah, we, there are no coincidences. Okay, there are no coincidences. And God will always, always speak to us how we are reachable. Okay, because that's just how it is. He will speak to us how we are reachable. And so as he was trying to watch the whole video, and it froze at 2 minutes and 20 seconds, he said he even tried to go further along to see if it would jump over. So what I did is I just... On the admin side, I, 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 I re-uploaded the video. And, yeah, that fixed it. And so I got to think it. I said, okay, there's no coincidence. I said, what's 220? Why that exact, yeah, minute and, and, and second. Why that exact spot? And so God said, Galatians 2 verse 20. And I said, oh, my goodness. Yeah, because it's no longer us who walk, but Christ who walked through us. But let's, KJV virgin, let's, what God needed us to remember. It was divine confirmation for us. And I said, now I'm going to bring it to y'all. Pay attention to these things. Because, yeah, God speaks to us however we're reachable. Remember that, okay? So, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, it says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Man! Woo! Because even though I know the verse... And I know what it means, that it's no longer us who walk, but Christ who walks through us. But when you read it for exactly what it says, oh, man, that is profound. That is profound right there. When Jesus saves us. And it's just another place that we're told where Jesus is. The Spirit. In. Right? Hey. Right? Yeah. It, 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 our, yeah, our fleshy desires die. Okay? It, Christ liveth in me. I mean, wow. Ducktailing right off of 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Right? Examine within yourself. Do ye not know that Jesus Christ is in you except ye be reprobates? Remember, I had a narcissist try to argue with me over that one. We don't argue over God's word. We discuss it. And we meditate on it. But when you read, and that's the KJV version. But when you read that, I mean, it, it's beautiful. And, and, and it's so heartwarming. And it just lets us know why we endured all this traumatization our entire life. That was our persecution. Right? And so we're crucified with Christ. When, when Jesus saves our soul and God awakens us to all this... this narcissism and the evil in the world that's it 
I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I want to bring it to the present because Jesus still loves us. Because it's the God love now coming out of chosen ones, right? Therefore, we love one another. And do we love thy enemy from afar? Because we don't hate them. We don't hold grudges. They're forgiven because we got to forgive ourselves for being duped, right? Okay. Uh, so I just had to bring this message here because it's so beautiful. And it also illustrates how the Holy Spirit moves in chosen one in such ways that it's so uplifting and it's so inspiring and moving you know that that just wow that i mean that just that 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 warmed my heart to no end when i, I picked up the bible when, when, when god said yeah galatians 2 verse 20 go look at it again even though we know what it, what it sit us uh, signifies there you go uh yeah because when we are saved right mm. and you know it's kind of funny because chosen ones were all the underdogs of society but not anymore i heard the spirit of the lord say not anymore he said, <laughs> he said, it's release season. Yeah, he said, hey, yeah, no. He said, the devil can't. Mm -mm. The devil has no new tricks. So, it's like, uh, yeah, no, uh-uh. But it's Christ who walks through us. He liveth in us. And it only makes sense because we're told what now? That, yeah, that Jesus sits on the right hand of God. God is a spirit. Where's God? On the inside. Okay, then. Well, if Jesus is sitting on the right hand of God, well, hello. <laughs> right? And we are Holy Spirit led. Well, there you go. We let the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us the utterance to speak. It ain't Michelle Dickey up here speaking. No, that's the Holy Spirit. I want y'all to... Let that sink in. That's why, chosen one, whenever we used to speak and we speak with conviction, the evildoers, the narcissists, would always try to shush us. They always try to silence us because they know that the power, the power from God is in our voice because that's the Holy Spirit speaking. They know it and it bothers them. They didn't want us to have a voice. Well, guess what? In this growing community of spiritual warriors for Christ, at Consulting for Height and Awareness, yes, chosen ones, you got a voice. Because that's where the power's at. It's in your voice. You're allowed to speak. This is where you belong. You're looking for a community that knows about that game of narcissism out there, the divide and conquer agenda inside the matrix on this world stage. Yeah. And you want to heal and grow? Join us on this journey. Because I'm going to tell you, fellow warriors, we got this. Because God got our back. Let's drop that in the comments below. God got my back. That's right. Drop it in the comments. God got my back. Because he does. Chosen ones are divinely protected. It's like we talked about previously. We're divinely protected because it's Christ who liveth in us. That's part of the divine protection from God. Oh, yeah. You better believe it. Trust and believe. Divine protection. Glory be to God. So there you go. To meditate on Galatians 2 verse 20. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's a great reminder that we are all in it together. On this journey, in God's reality, in the spiritual awakening, where chosen ones belong. Chosen ones don't belong inside that matrix. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like, now listen. I stand corrected. Not all chosen ones belong, okay? But here's the thing. 
even the chosen ones who are still working in the matrix because that is their calling and God's got to keep the cosmic balance. They're not in the matrix spiritually. I want y'all to understand that's what I'm talking about. When chosen ones are not meant to stay inside the matrix, it means spiritually. Because we can clearly see in the physical, I'm sitting in a public parking lot next to a hotel inside the matrix. All right, we're not stupid. Okay, we see that, but we're talking spiritually, okay? So I had to step in, you know, Holy Spirit had to correct me because in the physical, yes, okay, chosen ones are still in the matrix, but spiritually, no. We were never meant to stay in the matrix spiritually because remember, spiritually minded is life and peace. Aha, there you go. All right, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it rest right there for y'all. I'm going I'm to let y'all take that in. Watch this as many times as you need to get that message. All right. There you go. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.